Hey guys, welcome back. I hope everyone is doing well and I just want to say thanks for joining me today. Now in this brief Facebook Pixel tutorial for beginners, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to simply add a Facebook Pixel to your WordPress website in 2021. Okay guys, now just quickly before we go ahead and launch into this Facebook Pixel tutorial for WordPress, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to grow your small business online. And with that quick note out the way, let's go ahead and install your Facebook Pixel onto your WordPress website. <music> Okay, so let's get started with the basic process of installing your Facebook Pixel into your WordPress website. Now to do this, the first thing we wanna do is actually go ahead and sign up to a business manager's account. This is through Facebook, so what you wanna do is head over to business.facebook.com and sign up to a free business manager account. Now the reason we recommend people getting started with a business manager's account is because you can manage all your Facebook assets in one place. For example, your Facebook business pages, your ad accounts, you can manage all these different Facebook assets under one business manager account. Now it's very straightforward to actually go ahead and sign up to a free business manager. However, if you do want some guidance with getting started with a business manager, then we'll add a link up above which will guide you through the process of getting started with a business manager. Okay, so with that covered, what you need to do is go ahead and create a business manager account if you don't already have one. If you do, or if you've just created your account, then what we'll do is meet you inside our business manager and guide you through the process from within a business manager. Okay, so as you can see, we're inside our business manager account. Now what you want to do is navigate to your home. If you're not already on home, just click Facebook up here and that's going to bring you to your business home. Then just navigate over to these nine dots, business tools, and come down to business settings. Okay, so here we are on our business settings. Now, if we navigate over to the left hand side under accounts, you can see that we can create or add an existing business page or create a new business page. We can also create or add add accounts. Then we have other Facebook assets down here, which we're not going to discuss in this tutorial. Now to create a Facebook pixel, firstly, you need a business page. So what you want to do is navigate over to business pages and then navigate up here to add and come down to add a page if you already have an existing business page or you can come down and create a new business page. Now, if you want to follow a beginner's tutorial showing you how to properly create and set up a business page, then feel free to watch the tutorial up above and that will guide you through this process. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is actually go ahead and create a Facebook pixel. So all we need to do is navigate down to data sources then come down to pixels. Under pixels, you can see that we already have two pixels. What we wanna do is navigate up to add and add a new pixel. Then just come down and name your pixel. So I'm happy with Cindio Media's pixel. Then come down and if you like, add your website URL. We're gonna go ahead and add the website URL, the WordPress website that we wanna add this pixel to. And then come down to continue. Here we wanna select set up the pixel now. And here you can see that Facebook has recognized that we've used WordPress to build our website. So what we want to do is go ahead and click set up using WordPress. Now, for example, if you're using another website platform, for example, a website builder or another CMS, then you can actually browse other platforms that Facebook simply allows you to integrate with. But what we're going to do is click set up using WordPress. And then here, Facebook shows us how to upload a plugin onto our WordPress site, installing that plugin and connecting the Facebook pixel to our WordPress site. So what we want to do is navigate down here and click continue. Okay, so firstly, before we continue following this process on Facebook, we need to locate the Facebook plugin, download that and upload this to our WordPress website. So what we're gonna do is head over to wordpress.org and download the plugin. Now, what I'll do is add the link in the description down below that will take you to the plugin that we need to download, or you can find the Facebook plugin in wordpress.org. So we're gonna go ahead and locate this Facebook plugin by clicking the link that we've added in the description below. 
And here we are on wordpress.org. Now what we need to do is go ahead and download Facebook for WordPress. Then once you've downloaded Facebook for WordPress, head over to your WordPress dashboard. Okay, so here we are in our WordPress dashboard. Now what we need to do is navigate over to plugins and then navigate up to add new plugin. Then simply click upload plugin and come down to choose file. Locate the zip file that you just downloaded and click open. Then come down and click install now. And now what we want to do is activate the plugin. Then simply come down to settings and then navigate down to Facebook. Here we just want to select get started and then connect to your account. If you don't see your account, go ahead and log into a different account. So we're going to go ahead and continue as Stuart. Then come down and click continue. Here we want to make sure that we have the right business manager selected, the right ad account, then the right pixel that we've just created. So we're going to go ahead and change that pixel to the pixel we just created, Cindio Media's pixel. Select the pixel and then come down and click continue. And then come down and click continue. Then here you want to make sure that your business is selected here and then this is turned on to yes. Then come down and click next. And just like that, you're all set. So come down and click done. Here you can see that the connection is pending. What we want to do is come down and click I agree to share my token with this site and then click confirm. And congratulations, just like that, your business is now connected to Facebook. So what we're going to do now is navigate back to the Facebook pixel installation process and continue with that process. So head back to Facebook. And this is where we left off. So now what we want to do is come down and click continue. Then go ahead and enter your website URL again and navigate over to send test traffic. And by clicking this, that is going to take you to your website. So you are a live visitor on your website. So now that we've done that, let's go back to Facebook and see if that's all connected. And here we are back on Facebook. You can see that our pixel is active. Once your pixel is active, you'll be able to understand how your ads generate leads and online sales, as well as build more effective ads and audiences. So there we go. Our pixel is now active. Come down and click continue. And then here you'll be asked if you want to record specific events on your website. So for example, if you wanted to record leads being generated on your contact form, then you can go ahead and add your website in here and navigate through the simple step-by-step -step process of identifying events. However, like we said, we're not going to discuss too much about this in this tutorial. We just wanted to show you how to complete the initial setup of installing your Facebook pixel so you can start measuring traffic, so you can start retargeting your visitors, and you can start creating custom audiences. So once you've done that, come down and click continue. And then simply come down and click close. And congratulations guys, just like that you have successfully installed your Facebook Pixel onto your WordPress website. You can see that our Facebook Pixel status is live. And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief Facebook Pixel tutorial for WordPress users. Now if you have any questions about this Facebook Pixel tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And that way, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.